Welcome to Rotary World News and our special peace building conference report. Vancouver, British Columbia will be the host city in February 2018 for one of six Rotary International presidential conferences. Joining us from Vancouver is conference chair John Anderson to talk about the event his committee is organizing. John, let's start off with the basics. What is a presidential conference and why have you chosen the topic of environmental sustainability and peace? Well, a presidential conference is, is fundamentally one that's uh, been convened by the Rotary International President. As you know, we uh, change presidents every year and this year's president is uh, Ian Risley who comes from Australia and he and his wife Juliet actually run a, an organic farm in Muraduck in the state of Victoria and he has a special interest in environmental sustainability so when he decided to uh, convene six international peace building conferences he wanted one of them to emphasize the whole area of environmental sustainability and peacekeeping peace building rather uh, so, in, in effect, uh, when we saw this, we decided to apply for this conference. We were lucky enough to get it, and we're really proud that he chose Vancouver to be the site for the first Rotary Conference uh, with a theme of environmental sustainability. John, who would you want to see attend the Vancouver Conference? Well, really, uh, we want lots of Rotarians to attend the conference, but we also, uh, it's open to anybody, and, and we hope that non-Rotarians will want to be uh, there to, to talk about their air issues on environment as well. So we, we really see a, a mix of people attending the conference. Can you share with our viewers the various objectives your conference committee would like to achieve for this event? There are really five objectives that we've, we've set for this conference. The first one clearly is to share information, information on good environmental practices. We also want to gauge impact, uh, the impact of the environment on the other areas that Rotary works with. Uh, things like uh, water and sanitation, um, global health, uh, areas of vegetation, agriculture, food, those kinds of things. We want to make sure that we get the message across that environment does affect all of those areas. We're looking for solution bases though. We're not wanting a highly scientific conference that presents a lot of problems. We want to see the solution uh, and have Rotarians go away from this conference feeling they can do something. We've got the youth at the conference and we want to make sure that they have a chance to, to really talk about uh, environmental change as they see it because they're the ones that are going to inherit it and what we do today will affect them and their generation. And finally, the theme for this year's uh, Rotary International Year is Rotary making a difference and we want to make a difference through this conference. For those interested in attending, could you give us an idea of some of the speakers and topics that participants can hear about during the Saturday component of the conference? We're just starting to put up on the website now uh, the names of some of our speakers, our pl uh, plenary and breakout speakers. We'll have both plenary and breakouts during the conference. But uh, we will have environmental scientists, we're going to have health professionals, business and government leaders, and many Rotarians speaking on environment and how environment affects both what they do and what, uh, the, what Rotary does in its areas under the foundation. President Ian Risley has challenged Rotarians this year to plant a tree and that could mean 1.2 million trees being planted in this one year and we will be focusing on that um, throughout the conference we're going to have a session on why would we plant trees and what does tree planting do to help the environment so I really urge people to keep watching the uh, website so that we can uh, get those names out there and I know that they're going to be names that you're going to recognize um, uh, both here in Canada and throughout the United States from what you've told us so far this all sounds very serious are there any fun activities planned for this conference John, I, I always say that uh, Rotary is a voluntary organization and if you don't enjoy Rotary, you must be crazy to stay in it. 
Of course there's going to be fun. Uh, we're going to have a number of activities, uh, social activities in the conference. Friday night is a, a what we're calling a meet and greet social where Rotarians will get an opportunity to to meet uh, on a casual basis, more casual basis, their Rotary International president and the president of Rotary Foundation. Uh, we're going to have uh, entertainment at that. Um, for those of you that were at our district conference last year, you'll remember the um, Squamish First Nation dancers that did a wonderful job there. And they're coming back to entertain us again. On the Saturday night, we've got our banquet, and we'll be featuring the Langley uh, Ukulele Ensemble at that. And this group uh, is world-renowned and has entertained in several you know, Rotary International conventions as well as other major events uh, throughout the world. We've been speaking with John Anderson, Chair of the Rotary International Environmental Sustainability and Peace Conference to be held in Vancouver, British Columbia, February 9th to the 11th, 2018 at the Hyatt Regency Hotel in downtown Vancouver. For more information regarding registration, the various activities taking place over the three days, as well as continual updates on the speakers they have booked, visit their website at www.environmentandpeace.com. For Rotary World News, I'm John Charbonneau.